think of Marlon. in my mind, but it feels like the whole world revolves around me somehow. It's a lot of world for one man, Truman. You sure that's not wishful thinking? You wishing you'd made something more out of yourself? Come on, Truman, who hasn't sat in the john, had an imaginary interview on Sea Haven tonight? Who hasn't wanted to be somebody? This is different. Everybody seems to be in on it. I've been your best friend since we were seven years old, Truman. Only way you and I ever made it through school was by cheating off each other's test papers. <laughs> Jesus, they were identical. But I always felt safe knowing that. Because whatever the answer was, we were right together and we were wrong together. Remember that time I stayed up with you all night in your tent because you wanted to play North Pole? And I got pneumonia? <laughs> you remember that? <laughs> you were out of school for about a month. <laughs> You're the closest thing I ever had to a brother, Truman. I know that things haven't really worked out for either of us like we used to dream they would. I know that feeling when it's like everything's slipping away and you don't want to believe it, so you, you look for answers somewhere else, but... Well... But, well, the point is, I'd gladly walk in front of traffic for you. point is, I would gladly step in front of traffic for you, Truman. And the last thing I'd ever do is lie to you. And the last thing that I would ever do is lie to you. I mean, think about it, Truman. If, if everybody is in on it, I'd have to be in on it. I'm not in on it, Truman, because there is no it. You were right about one thing, though. That thing that started all this. Truman, that's why I came by tonight. Sure, he's got quite a story to tell. <laughs>